the dishwasher. It's running, I'm assuming they're doing some sort of a cleansing cycle. We've been hiding upstairs because Pearman doesn't wear a mask, but we just came down, he just left. Lots of chests. And I'm dressed to go to the pool. And I was watering the plants. Sebastian didn't have shoes on and the steps are really hot. He's like, I really want a air conditioner. I really want to see how the sunflowers are doing because we have two that are blooming right now. And I glance over and I don't see a bloom. And I scan my eyes and under our cherry tree out here, you can't see, but there's a pile of sunflower petals. It really seems like somebody ripped our sunflower off and was having a snack. Do squirrels do that? I can't see a bunny doing that. They can't really grab things. What the heck? Who eats beautiful sunflowers that haven't had a time to fully mature? Sebastian was in tears when he saw, but at least we still have one other. And there's two more on the way, but are they gonna steal those? This light in here, this terrible, terrible light. This makes me look bald. <laughs> Not that my hair is looking particularly good, I need to re-dye it, but we're gonna have some breakfast and then go to the pool and try not to let this ruin our day. bedtime. It is 9.30 probably just after. I don't think I've really talked to you at all. I don't know. So I'll just go over the whole day. Excuse me for being a little shiny. We did walk to and from dinner. 
So we got up and we had an eight to 10 window for our dishwasher to finally be repaired. The guy was a little clueless. He didn't know how to pull our dishwasher out. Like apparently it had little screws you had to undo so that it could come out. And he was apparently not even gonna put it back. Wow, my hair, sorry. <laughs> you just have to deal with it. Apparently he wasn't even gonna put it back in when he finished, but my husband's like, oh no, you're, you're putting it back in. Uh, but this whole time, like he got here at mm, 8.30 maybe, and we obviously couldn't go down and eat right beside him. And I, we also wanted to go to the pool first thing because Sebastian had been begging me all week and it's the first sunny day, even though the water was ice. So we were gonna be in our swimsuits and again, didn't wanna go down there. Let me get his medicine so he takes this. It's still on the counter. He gets a Claritin and some vitamins. Why is the dog barking? I've got a delivery. Sebastian, can you take this? Why you were very sneezy this evening. They're choosing a book. So yeah, we were kind of stuck up here until he finished just before 10, I'd say. The pool opens at 10 and I like to get there first thing. But yeah, we were eating breakfast at that point. And then we got there, like we finished breakfast at 10.30. So at that point I took my time a little bit cause they do a break, like, like adult swim break for the last 15 minutes of every hour. I was like, it's pointless to get there, 10.45. So we arrived right at 11. Nobody was there, not a single person, just the lifeguards. They hadn't turned on any of the fountains, which is fine by me, they're really loud, but they did turn them on when we got there. It was nobody. <laughs> so the lifeguards had to actually start working. I felt bad. They're just teenagers. And I actually got asked for our pool cards. Lately, they've just had a little sign-in sheet and you write your name and address and sign. But she actually did say, oh, can I see your pool passes? But I've always kept them on my keychain for years. So luckily I had them. <laughs> but the water was so cold since it's been in the 70s. It was 58 overnight, I guess, just a few hours before we were there. So I did not go in. I just like my feet and by the time I had the kids leave they were shivering and that was after having the 15 minute break outside of the pool when they called it at 11:45. 11:45 is right when somebody finally arrived besides us so yeah it was quite empty but not very pleasant because the water was so so cold but headed home and let's see, I think I was on the computer a little bit after getting changed and I was like, I really just want a sandwich from a deli. And my husband wanted one too, even though it was already like after one and he usually eats pretty early. I like to eat it too. So it was perfect timing for me, but not so much for him. We ended up having a late dinner because that was such a, a late lunch for him. But we ended up ordering from a deli they busted up the first time we ordered from there and everybody's sandwiches had like mayonnaise when we said none, but everything was right and it was delicious. But the little free cookies, we actually got them this time. They were missing on that incorrect order, but one of them was like the size of a quarter. It's like, why bother? Why bother? But it was delicious. And at that point we just took care of the plants and then headed up for quiet time. Normally I read the news a lot and Sebastian will watch a show, just chill and be quiet. I was so tired, I, was a, I just instantly curled up and tried to sleep. I don't really get to sleep very well because he talks to me the whole time, but when I got up I was still so exhausted for quite a while afterwards. I think it's just like the fatigue of emotional release of talking through how I was feeling. I definitely felt a lot less depressed last night after I talked to you guys, so thank you for listening. And yeah, just was really, really drained today. I have a hair and it's stuck somewhere under my glasses and I can even see my nose is turning red because it's itching me so much. It's making me need to sneeze. <sighs> 
I hate it. Uh, okay, so we get up and head down around five. My husband is nowhere near ready to eat. So I just worked on knitting the sweater. I already have like the yoke done. So eventually I'll need sleeves, but I've been working my way down and I tried it on. It's about here and it's not a big swingy sweater, which I would not mind being cropped. This one is more fitted. So I'm gonna have to keep going another six inches and do the waistband. So I tried that on and Sebastian was like, I want a hot dog from a burger place and I want to eat out. <laughs> Sometimes my kids pick things that they want for dinner just because they don't want to be at home. I get it, I get it. We normally have this one placed only a mile from our house that we can go to. There's a couple others, like slightly more than that. So we do have options where we can order and they can get there really fast, but we ended up walking to one of them. And it's a nice short walk and Sebastian even practiced it without the stroller with me this week. It was earlier this week and he did really well. He did have a, a little bit of a stomach ache at one point. He gets stomach aches when he needs to like poo or if he's just ate and he walks. And so usually the stroller comes in handy for that. He can just hop in and rest his belly and then walk. But So he did have to power through that the other day, but no complaints tonight. When he's with his daddy, he walks a lot better. He's more motivated to keep up because my husband does not slow down. He can't make it as far because he wears out from all the half running to keep up with him. But yeah, it was a nice walk and that restaurant has a ton of choices for veggie burgers. I always order the same one for delivery, this black bean burger, because it just travels the best. Some of the others I don't want, like I don't want an impossible burger or a boca burger. I don't like anything that tastes like meat, like fake meat. Then there's, I think a cauliflower burger, but cauliflower kind of tears me up, like Beano doesn't help. I can take Beano with a black bean burger and it mostly helps, I just have a little stomach ache. And then they have a falafel burger, but it does have feta in it. So I'm worried that it's too much cheese. The one that I like to get when I'm there is a lentil and potato one. It's like mashed potatoes, basically. It's really good. A little bland. I feel like it needs some spices or something, but I still enjoy it. It's just, think of mashed potatoes on a bun. <laughs> it doesn't travel where, well, it's too mushy. It would just be a soggy mess just coming the mile to us. So I got to get that one, especially because I forgot to pack Beano in my bag. So I, there was no way I was gonna touch any of the, the black bean burger or anything. I'd say it came to about the same price as ordering it, delivery and paying the tip because we did have to get drinks. And normally when we order, we get some fries to share for the family and the kids share some sliders. It's not their favorite, but it's the best deal. So when we walked there, they each chose their own kid's meal. And then we got combos, combo meals, instead of just a burger, no drink, and sharing a fries, because obviously we needed to drink. So it came out to be of the same amount of money, <laughs> but we got a whole lot more food and drinks, obviously. But then we walked home. It was already after eight. I just had enough time to drink some coffee. God, that scared me. The door wasn't already all the way closed and it just closed on its own and I nearly had a heart attack. Yeah, so now it's now. So that was our day. I need to re-dye my hair. There's very little color left in it. It's kind of whitish, greenish. But, oh, I wanted to share this video that was on our camera this morning before I don't know, it was maybe like eight in the morning. I don't know what this bug is. I looked it up and I feel like it most matched a tiger bee fly. So if you know bugs, let me know. Here's a still shot of it. It's not that big. Like the camera makes things look really big. I'm, I'm thinking it's just like under an inch. I don't know, <laughs> it was quite a surprise to be looking through the videos because I was watching to see when the repair person would leave and seeing that. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you for watching. 
I'll see you tomorrow for Friday. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I make a video every night. Can you believe it? I am on video, I think 1026 tonight, crazy. But yeah, stay safe, be kind, and don't forget to wash your hands.